Hi, my name is Tiagi. It's actually Silver Asylum Tiagarajan, and I live in Bloomington, Indiana. My first contact with the human performance technology or the HPT or the uh, PI, as it was called a long time ago, was in 1961 when I read an article called in Reader's Digest at the local U.S. Information Library in Chennai, India. The article was called How to Learn Twice as Much in Half the Time. And I read another article in the Look magazine about programmed instruction. So I got so excited, I wrote my first programmed instruction manual, and it was uh, sent to Susan Marker, who happened to be one of the biggest influence. Sue Marker got uh, my attempt at the chemistry of uh, chlorine, and she sent me a copy of her book called Good Frames and Bad, and she came to India to conduct a workshop on how to do programmed instruction. She wanted to know what I would like to do the program on, and I said, I'm working with a group on contraceptive techniques. She said, okay, you probably have figured out how to do these things, so I cannot be your programming advisor, but I can be a subject matter expert. So she was very, very helpful and supported my learning more about human performance technology, and she got me into NSPI, as it was called, in 1963. If people ask me what is a human performance technology, uh, my glib answer is, this is something every human being does. If during the last 24-hour period, you try to change or improve the performance of somebody else, could be an employee, could be your spouse, could be your boss, could be your dog, except it doesn't work with human performance technology, and usually you want to change other people's behaviors for their own good, then you're a human performance technology. And that is my short, crisp, simple, at the core of a moment, that's all there is to wait. There are other things like results-based, when you're messing with the other people's business,